Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 24th of 2022. Well, it is titled Lynn's Dark Nebula 1251. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a dark nebula, which is a dark, dusty region of space. And it is a region of star formation. And it's some of the very earliest parts of star formation. And that means we really can't see it when we look in visible light. We see a dark nebula with these dark globules. And within those stars are just beginning to form. But in the very earliest stages of star formation, we're not able to see what is going on, especially using ordinary visible light. And that's because there is enough dust here that it blocks out the light and keeps us from seeing to within these globules and beyond them. So could we look at this in say infrared, we would be able to see more going on within these. And if we could look in the radio again, those two longer wavelengths are better able to penetrate through the dust and could give us a view into what we see here. However, we can still get a very beautiful image showing the dark, dusty regions, the denser, very dark areas and the less dense areas. Now the dust, while it blocks out the starlight and the very dense areas you cannot see through, even the less dense areas also block out some of the light dimming the stars. So if we don't know the extent of the dust, then stars are going to look faint and therefore further away than they truly are in space. Now within these dark areas, we would see proto stars, just the beginnings of a star that has not quite finished forming. And that would be what was going on within these dark globules, what was happening to our sun about 5 billion years ago, as it began to form from something quite similar to this. And as it compacted down, eventually, it reached a higher temperature in its core, where it was able to undergo hydrogen fusion. Now that takes about 10 million degrees to be able to fuse hydrogen into helium. And once that happens, stars will start to appear here and we'll start to see stars. And maybe in a few million years or tens of millions of years, we would start to see the beginnings of a small star cluster, an open cluster, as we call it. And that would begin to eat away at the material and actually to illuminate the material as well. So we would this the scape that we see here would constantly be changing, although not over time frames that we could see. So over our lifetimes, this will still look exactly the same. However, over tens of millions of years, it could change drastically from this dark nebula that we see to an illuminated nebula, and finally to a open cluster of stars. So that was our picture of the day for November 24th of 2022. It was titled Lynn's Dark Nebula 1251. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.